What if I told you that I am going to be making the world's strongest, most OP swords in Minecraft, which you probably would have never dreamed of crafting? Well, I'm here to tell you, we're actually going to be doing that today, ladies and gentlemen. So behold, the OP swords coming up right about now. Uh, so this first sword that we're actually gonna craft up is going to be a very, very scary looking one here. So uh, we're gonna need some obsidian, and we're also gonna need some diamond blocks. So that's what we got here. And check this out. We've made ourselves an obsidian stick. So how cool is that? I mean, it's just an obsidian stick. Hey chicken, hey, hey, hey buddy. Check this out, an obsidian stick. Okay, you're not interested. Uh, uh, it's, it's totally fine, it's totally fine, okay? Okay, you're not impressed? Are you not impressed? All right, well I'm gonna show you something else, okay? I'm gonna spend this whole video trying to impress this chicken. Here we have it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two of these and actually craft this up and we do three there. And there we have it, we have an obsidian blade. How cool is that? An obsidian blade, which will also do some damage too, which I kinda wanna test out and see much how much damage this actually does, which is probably why I should also spawn in some mobs and test this out. Hey, come here. I feel like it doesn't do much damage though. Okay, well, I guess that actually works. So as you can see, the obsidian blade is a little bit bigger uh, than the, the actual obsidian stick, but th th it doesn't stop here. It does not stop here, okay? What we wanna do is, is we wanna make three of these bad boys. So let's go ahead and make three of these. So if we just go ahead and put four on each, this is where it gets a lot better too, okay? There we go, we put four there, and then what we do is we actually put four here, or three there. I think we just need two there, actually. So there we have it. So now we have, I need one more, that's what I'm talking about, there we go. So now we have four obsidian blades, so if we take these out, we take these four obsidian blades, right? And then we put them in a row like this, like that, and wait, what else do we need? I think we need something else for this. Hold on, I think we need a dragon egg. There we have it, so we take ourselves a dragon egg. Let's put these out. Put this dragon egg in the middle. This will give us dragon's essence. So now we have dragon's essence. We take the dragon's essence, and then we take the obsidian blades here, and we put that there, and well, wait, wait, normally, normally I thought that would've gave me something, but uh, it didn't actually give me anything. There we go. So we need to put the obsidian stick there at the bottom and kind of make a sword there. And now we have the end sword. Check that out. We've just crafted up a very, very dangerous sword here. So check this out. We now have the end sword. Look at this. I now behold the world's strongest sword ever. As you can see, I got myself like a little aura effect. I think this would be so cool to be added actually in Minecraft. I mean, I love these add-ons, but like I would totally love to see this. I mean, this is awesome. And then you can also tell how, like, you know, what kind of sword so Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, chicken. That was a chicken. That wasn't the chicken I was trying to impress. Okay, just so you know. But imagine if you had this and then like you were in a survival game and you saw people running after you and you can kind of tell the rarity of this sword or just by the aura of them. That would be so amazing. I don't know how strong this X. Okay, this is a very, very strong sword. I think it does a hundred damage, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it actually does a hundred plus damage. So yeah, this thing is deadly and looks awesome so there we have it that is the end sword right here so we've just managed to craft that up but there's some more swords in here which is also amazing so we're gonna be making at least about three swords about three new ones or four new ones so let's talk about this first one here so that's the first one the end sword but there is another one so let's just go ahead and put this up there to the side and let's go ahead and put a crafting table here and let's look at what we need for another sword here so uh let's see i have these recipes actually pulled up so we need to grab ourselves some iron here so let's go ahead and grab ourselves some iron and we already have a diamond block and we also need some coal here as well let's go ahead and grab some coal and then we also need a blaze rod. Now, I think if we were to ever get some new swords, I don't think the recipe, I mean, I think this would kind of make it good too, that the recipe would take a while to actually make, like you would need to get like iron blocks and stuff like that. Like you would have to get that stuff uh, in order to make these amazing swords instead of just getting sticks and things like that. So here we have the dark blade. So now that we have the dark blade, we can actually make, we need to make two of these so then we can get ourselves a stick here. So. Let's go ahead and do that. So we got two dark blades right there. Now we need also another star too. So yeah, 
it's definitely a lot of work to make these, which would make them a lot more valuable, and it would make it also that not everyone would actually have them. So let's put the blaze rod here. We'll put the nether star there, and then we'll take the two dark blades, put them there, and we have now made ourselves the nocturnal, which was which does actually 45 plus damage. So uh, yeah, really really cool. I think it gives us an effect too. I think that's just like a a shield there effect. I, I don't actually realize which one that is there, but uh, yeah, extremely cool here. And again, does 45 plus damage, which is actually a lot, you know, but when, when I think about making the in sword that we just had, that, that did like so much damage. All right, I'll be taking that. All right, and it also gave us kind of like an effect too, which I thought was really cool. So, so far, I'm really loving the way that one looks the best, like the in sword, but this one doesn't look bad either. If we throw that down, look at it. You can kind of see exactly how it looks. Looks incredible, if you ask me. So, uh, there we have it. Let's go ahead and actually clear this out most of the stuff I actually don't need anymore and if I do need any of it I can also go back and get it uh, so just gonna clear this out all right so now that we've created the dark blade I think that's what we had before now we can create ourselves the light blade uh, here which requires iron diamond and then we have another quartz right there so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make two of these because we definitely need two of those and then we need to get ourselves a blaze rod here too so we put a blaze rod there uh, we also need another star believe it or not for this as well so let's grab another star there we have it let's put that there and then we take two of the light blades and look at this we've made ourselves uh, the radiance uh, which is kind of like this gives us speed here so look at it look how fast we're going oh <laughs> this is sick this is amazing I really oh my goodness this is so cool this is, I feel so bad for the horses though, I do apologize for that. But yeah, this is amazing. Like, I love again that these swords actually give you effect. Of course when you jump, you kind of slow down too. But yeah, that's so cool. And look at how it looks too. So it kind of looks again just like the dark blade, but this is the uh, the actual, again, the light blade. I hear the radiance. So yeah, very, very cool here. And I love the way that looks. And there's also another one too, which requires the dark blade and the light blade. So not only do you have these two OP swords? You can also use these two OP swords to create another sword, which is also crazy. So let's go and craft this up. This will be the last one here. So what we need is diamond. So we need diamond. Let's go and grab ourselves some diamond here. There we go. Let's put these there like that. So we put those diamonds there. Uh, we also need a nether star as well. Uh, so let's take this nether star and we'll put that in the middle. And then we're going to take ourselves the radiant sword and we're going to take ourselves the nocturnal one and that gives us bloodbath which does 90 plus damage and look at that look at those particles on that oh my goodness this is this is op at its finest ladies and gentlemen i mean this is this is the most op sword ever i feel like i'm in some type of anime cartoon right now i mean this is incredible okay and i wonder this also gives us speed too Arr, i'm coming to get you imagine char charging at someone like this having these particles like from you I mean, this is amazing. I mean, they will be running for their life. But then you got to think, you will be able to catch them too. So I wonder if this is going to set them on fire. Though. Let's see. Okay, it didn't. Oh, it would have been so cool if it was actually, like, if it had fire there. Like, that would be so cool. Like, if you can instantly kind of just, like, make food, of course, from the animals. Like, if it had that flame on it. That would be awesome. Like, fire aspect. That would be so cool. But, yeah, these are some OP sources. Also, there's another one, too. So far, this kind of seems like my favorite. I do like the in sword a lot, too. That was actually really good. But there's also one we can make with some lapis. I thought that was actually the last one. But there is one with lapis. So let's get some lapis. And let's go ahead and get some iron. All right, here. So let's grab this iron here. There we go. We'll put this there. Put the bloodbath there. And then I think we need an iron ingot, if I'm not mistaken, as well. So let's go ahead and try this out. So what we got to do is we're going to put some iron here like that all down. Then we'll put a piece of iron and then we'll put ourselves some lapis here and check this out. We've made ourselves a lapis blade. So uh, not too bad here. Not too shabby. Pretty cool looking blade here. Kind of looks like a diamond sword and in in, to be fair. But uh, yeah, quite awesome. It's not too strong either. Not like some of the OP other uh, swords there, but overall extremely cool so there we have it ladies and gentlemen that's gonna wrap it up for today's video on the op swords i'll be sure to link the add-on creator down below in the description but thank you all so much for tuning in uh remember to leave like and share it also feel free to subscribe for more and if you're new and i will see you all in the next video bye